Hey guys, South Florida Rider here uh, with another update. Um, we did make it through the hurricane down here all right, so uh, we're no worse for wear. Um, just a lot of mess, so a little off track with my videos here. But <laughs> um, just before the hurricane hit, I did get something in the mail, which, uh, you know, you get a lot of cabin fever when you're, you're stuck indoors from a storm and all that. Um, so I was able to come out here and install uh, a little something on the bike during the storm to take up some time. And it's something that doesn't really jump out looking at it right now, but it's definitely a new addition, and it is these little plastic heat shields here. And they go over the um, the rear jugs here. And they're, they're uh, Kiriakin makes a set, but they're like a transparent plastic, and they have like a mirrored effect to them. And I, I didn't like that. I wanted just a matte black, kind of match everything else I got going here. I didn't want anything, you know, reflective or any of that. And, Harley sells them, but they want like, uh, I think it was like $90 for these stupid little plastic fins here. And although they've gotten some pretty good reviews online for, you know, keeping the heat off your, your thighs here and stuff, I wasn't willing to bite for 90 bucks. So I went on eBay and uh, I got them, you know, from China for like 30 bucks, you know, because I wasn't even sure if they were going to work or not, but... I bolted them on there. They went on really easy. Uh, just a you know, this extended bolt that it comes with that goes through the back uh, tank mounting position here, and then a couple bolts to go into a couple of holes that are here on your battery box, and that's about it. Um, I did ride it the other day, and I will tell you that it is a dramatic and noticeable difference in the amount of heat coming on your inner thigh with those on there, especially sitting at red lights. Um, just sitting at lights, sitting anywhere on this bike was like penance. Uh, the heat that would come off that rear cylinder was unbelievably hot. Um, it was damn near unbearable sometimes. Uh, even at night and stuff, cruising around, just waiting for a parking space or something. You'd be like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm cooking here. Um, I can't believe how well these stupid little pieces of plastic deflect that heat. And although... I really don't want to have to have plastic shields and stuff on my bike. You know, as far as a rideability standpoint goes, they have increased the pleasure of riding this bike, especially, you know, in the hot summer months here in Florida, like tenfold. You know, I, I, can't, I can't even tell you how, how much better this thing is to sit in traffic. Like, coming to a red light, you know, I just, I don't dread it now because it's like I'm not going to die of, you know, the heat coming from the rear cylinders waiting for the light to change. You know, I'm not going to be sitting there, you know, counting the, the minutes and seconds here until the thing turns green. So cool little addition, just a, a quick little update because, you know, I know I haven't put one up in a while because of the storm and all. I did get my extended uh, clutch cable to do the Lucky Dave's Lucky 13 bars, which I have in that box over there. Um, and I'm still waiting on my brake line set, the black steel braided set. Um, unfortunately, the warehouse that, you know, stocks them was in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. That got hit very hard by a Harvey just before we got hammered by Irma. So we got double whammied. Um, as far as I can tell from USPS, um, they're just delayed in infinite limbo in, in their, you know, uh, terminal in, in Fort Worth, Texas. So... I, I honestly don't know when they're going to be here. Uh, I did call Harley Davidson and talk to somebody over there about how much it would cost just to have them install the brake lines and bleed the, uh, bleed the brakes rather, just because I don't want to deal with it um, from a safety standpoint. I know it's just standard brake bleeding procedure regardless of the ABS and all that. And I, and I did get the law abiding biker video um, from YouTube, went to their site for the $35, which they actually have this exact bike, the Lowrider S, that they do bars on, and they walk you through everything. And I'm pretty sure I can figure it all out, uh, the clutch cable and the you know electrical and fishing it through the new bars. Um, as far as I know, the Lucky Dave's bars have larger holes in them for fishing wires through, so you shouldn't even have to depin the connectors. Um, that remains to be seen. I am relocating the signals, so I don't want to have to fish those through there. That'll make it a little easier, but I'm um, pretty sure I can handle everything except the brakes. The brakes, I'm just, you know, I ride in groups of 30 plus riders at highway speeds and stuff in a large pack, and I'm just, I don't want to, I don't want to chance my brakes. I want my brakes working properly, and 
Harley said, you know, if I bring them the parts and everything, just to install the extended brake lines is an hour's labor. It's $109. So for $109, I'll let them do it. I'll do the extended brake uh, clutch cable, rather. That'll take me about an hour and, you know, I don't know, maybe a couple, two, three hours for me to do the bars with the, the hardened polyurethane bushings and all that. Um, and that may, mainly that's going to be getting the tank up out of the way so I can get access to the wires and pull them through and get the slack and then just fishing wires and stuff. So um, that's where I'm at, guys. Um, I know I did promise you a riding video with my buddies M109R and this, and, and it is coming. It's just bad luck with the weather. It's just been raining nonstop down here, and then we got hit with the storm. And even right now, I've got you know family up from Miami that's kind of bibwhacked in my living room here, and it, the timing's just not great for it at the moment. But I, I haven't forgotten about it, and we are going to do that. Um, and hopefully, I will have that up for you guys shortly. All right, guys. Till next time. Take care.